This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. In this video, we're going to talk about independent back mount double diving in the island of Bonaire. For those of you who are not familiar with Bonaire, it is a small southern Caribbean island just north of Venezuela. There is a lot of shore diving where you get around in a rental truck and Bonaire is also known as the diving freedom capital of the world. This footage was actually taken in January of 2022. So the configuration that I'm using in this video is actually obsolete and has been superseded. So uh, please consult some of the newer videos to see what uh, the current independent back mount doubles gear configuration consists of. For this trip, we use Dive Friends uh, once again that has many different facilities around the island. This is a picture of the Dive Friends facility located between the Sand Dollar and Den Lamont resorts. We stay at Den Lamont when possible, so we use this particular Dive Friends facility. I have rented back mount manifolded doubles uh, from Dive Friends before. Uh, but if you're interested in doing that, uh, they are in very limited supply, and you're better off trying to rent a set of uh, back-mounted manifolded doubles from Buddy Dive next door. As I have discussed in the past, if you do dive back-mount manifolded doubles, one of the big problems is getting air fills. So you will have to find an air fill station and uh, get your tanks uh, refilled every time you need them. So on this trip, I elected to dive independent back mount doubles. So rather than having to find an air fill station, I was able to change out to fresh tanks at any one of the six or seven Dive Friends locations. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the use of independent doubles with standard right hand K valves. Now, from previous videos, I understand that this is a uh, somewhat controversial topic, and that is the reason why I'm making another video on this subject. So here at Dive Friends, at the Den Lamont dock, there are some bin tanks, but all the valves are modular, so I'm taking a worst case situation where I have regular K valves with non-bin valves, and I them set up for uh, use to independent and double dive. So I've been doing this all week here at uh, Bon Air, and uh, I'm going to be talking uh, more in depth about doing that uh, today in this video. So one of the things that I've been doing here all week is I've been setting up the independent doubles uh, right here by the steps. I sit down here, uh, put the gear on, get into the gear, and just have to stand up on the lower step here. And um, uh, generally I'll do a uh, back flop into the water. Uh, this way I have to uh, absolutely walk nowhere with a set of doubles. And uh, I always prefer doing that to not having to walk long distances uh, with a set of doubles. Uh, if you get off balance and fall down, uh, that can uh, result in some, uh, some injury. So I prefer to travel as short a distance as possible uh, while I'm using doubles. And uh, if I'm using independent doubles or just regular manifold doubles, I will put the tanks on the edge of the dock like here so I don't have to go very far. In this video clip, I had the GoPro 9 uh, inserted into the ISADA camera housing and uh, the audio was actually um, not very good at all. Uh, and so what I've done is I've unlinked the sound and I'm going to narrate what's going on. I have the uh, set of back mount independent doubles already assembled and positioned on the side of the dock. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm gearing up uh, at this point. Uh, you will notice on the extreme lower right uh, section of the screen that I have my high pressure hose leading off of the left post regulator. 
This is one of the um, modifications that has been done subsequent to uh, this particular video. And now uh, that hose no longer exists. Uh, a transmitter is now uh, in position of that to eliminate the hose. So normally when I dive manifold the doubles, I dive with the pressure gauge on the left post and a transmitter on the right post. And so when I dive independent doubles, uh, I dive with the transmitter on the left post and the um, uh, high pressure gauge hose on the right post. That way I'm able to maintain a more streamlined configuration. Because there's a little cutout uh, to get on and off the boats at the dock here, I'm able to sit sideways on the edge of the dock and uh, be able to put my fins on and uh, just simply uh, stand up, uh, turn uh, 90 degrees, and then uh, go back into the water. Here I'm checking uh, my regulators and I'm getting ready to uh, stand up and go in the water. You again can see the high pressure gauge hose on the left post which has been subsequently uh, replaced with the transmitter. Since Bonaire has such good shore diving, I almost never boat dive while I'm in Bonaire. If you're interested in uh, the nuances of diving with independent back mount doubles off of a dive boat, uh, take a look at the video for independent back mount doubles diving in Cozumel. This is a shore diving site uh, called Bachelor's Beach, uh, which is on the southern end of the island uh, near the airport. Bachelor's Beach offers a little bit of a challenge for most divers as you have to uh, go from this upper parking lot area uh, down to the sand uh, and the water. You can descend half this distance uh, on a set of stairs, uh, but the bottom half is eroded away and you actually have to hop on uh, two or three rocks in order to get down to the water. Some recreational divers with a single back mount tank uh, will actually gear up in the parking lot and then walk down the set of steps, uh, go over the rocks, and then go into the water. But uh, this is not really something that is feasible for somebody wearing a set of back mounted doubles. At this site, back mount independent doubles offers the specific advantage of being able to take the tanks down singly just as in like with side mounts and then assembling the rig on the sand. So at a dive site like this, I'll typically take the two tanks with the regulators already uh, installed. And on the second or third trip, I'll take down my plate and wing and assemble the entire rig at the water's edge. I will then float it into deeper water and then put on the rig. For most of the other sites, I'll assemble my gear in the same manner as with a single tank recreational rig. I'll assemble the uh, independent back mount doubles rig on the back of the truck tailgate and then walk into the water. After the dive, the procedure is the same. Uh, just go back to the pickup truck and rest your independent back mount doubles on the truck tailgate and disassemble your gear. And again, instead of having to find a fill station, all you need to do is find another facility that has regular aluminum 80 tanks. If you're interested in maximizing your diving time, independent back mount doubles will certainly help with that. You will also be able to save 20 to $22 per day for tank rental fees on top of that. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.